Let's practice a financial formula here in Excel 2013. It's the PMT function, which is very useful because it allows you to calculate monthly payments. So whether we're talking about a mortgage payment or a car payment, this is a very good for actually thinking about our future. So we type in some information here. In this case, we're talking about a home, bor trying to borrow $200,000 from the bank. We'll imagine the interest rate is uh, 0 0.05, which is 5%, and the number of years to pay back We'll say the number of years to pay back is 20 years. Notice how the number of months to pay back, to pay back is 240. This value is equals to the previous cell, which is B5, times 12, because there's 12 months in a year. Now, how do we figure out the monthly payment? Let's use a PMT function. I could type in equals PMT, but sometimes it's easy to forget what each of these mean. So I'm going to actually click on formulas and use a financial formula and look for the letter P. PMT. PMT. So when you look at the rate field, it says here in the bottom, 6% rate divided by 4 for quarterly payments. So following this pattern, I'm going to click on 5%, which is here. I'm going to click on the 0 0.05, divided by 12. We're not interested in quarterly payments. We're interested in monthly payments. Therefore, we divide by 12. Let's focus on the number of periods, NPER. The number of periods is going to be 240 because we, we're going to pay back uh, in 240 different months. As for the PV, the present value, this is how much we owe. I'm going to click on 200,000. Now click on OK and we have monthly payments of $1,319.91. All right, so here we have the uh, amount 1,319, and if we change the number of years to 10 years, you want to pay off the mortgage in 10 years, you can see the monthly payments gets a lot higher. What about uh, 30 years? And of course, the payments become a lot more reasonable. Now, uh, if I actually try this one more time, so we have a formula here, you can see uh, equals payment, uh, the actual uh, rate divided by 12 months. Um, we have B6. B6 is the number of months to pay back. And then uh, we have B3, which is the actual amount borrowed. If you type in a negative sign here, negative B3, so negative B3, enter. And then instead of getting the red uh, amount with brackets, which represents negative, we can now have a positive uh, number amount. So hopefully this helps with uh, you being able to figure out how much your monthly payments will be, uh, whether you're borrowing for your house or a car.